Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Low Sim. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit and color grade a golden hour outdoor portrait. I hope you love this tutorial and now let's get started. Okay, this is the portrait. This is uh, uh, the raw file actually. I captured this just a few days before. Okay, let's bring it to Photoshop. As it is a raw file, it will open in camera raw. So this is the picture and it was taken in a natural light. So there was no artificial light. Okay, let's bring it down. And now press Q to see the before and after. And I want just a little uh, basic color grading right now. Okay, uh, now go to the basics option. And here I want to increase the contrast. So I'm giving uh, around plus 15. I think that's fine and now I want to uh, decrease the highlights look at this area let's do it again look at the area look at this I think uh, I think minus 58 for highlights is looking good and now I have to bump up the shadows so here I'm giving around 60 for shadows and leave the white and I want to uh, decrease the black Let's see, I think minus 15 or minus 16 is fine here. I'll, I want to increase the texture just a little and increase the clarity also. So this is fine. And I want to increase the vibrance around 15 and saturation around 5. So now look at this, it is a lot more saturated and it's, it looks good right now, okay? Uh, that's fine and now I want to go to the details and here uh, I want to add some sharpening I think radius 1.2 that's fine let's increase it around 45 I think this is fine and now I want to mask this I want the sharpness just on the edges so press and hold alt click on the mask and drag it to the right and see see the affected area I think I think this is fine that's good okay now come into the noise reduction and just apply a little bit and color noise reduction 25 that's fine okay now come into the color mixer option and here in the hue I want a little bit orange instead of green because I want to mask the color with the orange look at this so i'm giving minus 100 to green so it turns into the orange that's fine and i want to decrease the blue also just a little look at this area i think minus 13 yeah it's fine now come into the saturation action and i want to increase the saturation of reds so i'm giving plus 20 yeah it's fine and also the yellow I'm giving plus 4 for yellow and for green I'm giving around 50 that's good and for aquas I'm giving around 25 that's fine now come into the luminance option and here in the luminance I want to increase the luminance of orange that means I want to brighten up orange a little bit so I'm giving plus 10 and in the green i want to decrease it so i'm giving minus 28 that's fine okay let's see the before and after look at this and look at this it's fine okay now come into the color grading option and in the shadows okay this one uh, okay let's put a little bit uh, bluish color i think so I'm giving 210 in hue and plus 5 in saturation. That's good. Okay. And now I need to increase the balance a little bit. So I'm giving I think plus 6. Yeah, it's fine. And now coming to the camera calibration option. And I want to work with the green primary and the blue primary. 
in the green primary I am giving plus 10 for hue look at this look at the colors it's beautiful so I'm giving plus 24 for saturation and I'll come into the blue primary option and in the saturation I do increase that saturation so here I'm giving plus 16 that's good now look at this before and after it's good right okay let's go to the detail option and and to increase decrease the color noise reduction and also the noise reduction a little bit that's fine okay so the color grading is done and now press open when you are done and now our picture is in photoshop and now uh if you want you can read us you can use any method uh, which is your favorite you can use frequency separation you can use any actions it depends on you okay uh, let's zoom in a little bit I think yeah it's the skin is fine so I want to use a uh, action you will get this action totally free uh, the link is on the description okay that's fine let's zoom in I think I should decrease it because this area is not perfect right okay let's use uh, 12 I think yeah it looks better okay press ok and let's increase the radius a little bit let's use 6 I think yeah it's fine okay now press ok and now just paint with the white brush on your skin it's simple it's very simple and easy to use Oops. okay just paint So it is done. Let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before. Look at the transitions. And this is after. It is done a great job. I think, yeah, it's fine. That's good. Okay. Now look closely. Uh, I want to brighten up this area, this area, this area, and this area just a little. Uh, so what should I do now? Uh, okay, let's use the curves for this Make a curves like this I think yeah, this is fine and now click on the mask and press ctrl and I Oops press ctrl and I to hide it. Okay. Now pick your brush uh, With white color with white foreground color and let's use the flow to 1% that's fine now zoom in and just paint and paint look at this and now see the before and after look at this this was the before look at this very carefully and this is after look at this it's beautiful and great way I think it's a great way to apply dose effect also so it's useful okay Let's apply here also. I think yeah, it's fine. Let's use on this area and on this area. It helps you to remove the dark circles and also create the dose effect. Okay. zoom out look at this let's see the before and after now this was the before look at the faces 
and this is after look at this it's beautiful okay let's paint here and this area I think it's fine let's zoom out and see the before and after this was the before and this is after it's fine it's great okay now I want to add a orange color here also uh, to make a feel okay uh, so for this I want to apply a light okay and you apply this one on this area okay let's change the blending mode to screen to hide the blackish area and now press and hold alt and drag to increase and now look at this I think I think yeah it's fine press enter and now press ctrl and L and I need to decrease the effect just a little so I want to apply here okay bring this point uh, I think yeah it's fine let's press train I think this is fine now okay and see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after it's beautiful right okay and now uh, I want to add some sharpness in the eyes and the lips so uh, create a new layer and okay pick the uh, sharpen tool and make sure you have selected the sample of layers now zoom in and let's increase it and just and now just paint on the area you want to sharpen on this area and also in the lips just a little look at this this was the before and this is after i think now it's fine let's see the before and after okay this was the before and this is after the retesting so this is a very simple edit very simple way to edit and color grade your golden hour picture and make it more colorful i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe